<laughs> what is good good vibe work it is your girl esther joy coming at you with another video on this channel we love to talk about love light joy and peace so if you my friend like those vibrations and you're in the right place know that good viber i am so happy to have you along in the family okay and today we have a special video special video we're going to be doing a of my language questions and answers i'm going to be giving some tips to anyone who wishes to get more involved with light language and of course my own experiences with it how i found out about it how it works and all of that fun jazz so good viber without further ado i hope that you have your tea because you already know it's gonna be a juicy day it's gonna be juicy okay all right, so let's just top into it, light language. Now, light language, if you watch some of my light language videos, or anyone's light language videos for that case, then you will notice that it does sound like a whole bunch of gibberish, really does. I mean, like, for instance, if I say like, If I asked you to repeat that to me, could you? Okay, now, what they just said with that is that you don't need to understand the words per se, but the vibrations of the sounds that the words are making are going to trigger you to feel something, and that's how you understand light language. So it is a hard language. It is, um... It is a universal language. Um, there is not one light language. It's not like, you know, you say bleh, and bleh means this or that. It is entirely guided and channeled sound transmissions that are coming through. Now, when you do light language, if you're interested in really doing light language, my advice to you is this practice just practice um moving your mouth in shapes that you are not used to and hearing the sounds that come out of your own voice really use your um your throat chakra to express yourself and just practice you could go and of course you can go sillier or make whatever sounds noises that you feel um you feel like making really i encourage everyone to try this exercise by just saying these gibberish words and tongues as we will call lay language for now you are doing something to your brain you are creating new neural pathways now i want you to think almost of babies and when they're speaking now they're not really aware that there are words up until a certain point that mean things so when they're speaking they're just creating new neural pathways to help them get used to speaking and how things work out this is very powerful for increasing neuroplasticity in your brain so when you have a more neuroplastic brain you're able to make more connections and when you're able to make more connections it's generally speaking um easier for you to change um you know how your brain was functioning so really powerful stuff yes just using light language every day um how do you use light language how do you know what you're doing and how do you know if you're doing it right that's a great question those are all great questions so let's talk about it a little bit right now so i've already talked to you about just the saying whatever comes to your throat and your voice and your mind first 
making sure that you're practicing maybe consorting your face in different kind of shapes just to see um, and hear the sounds that you are able to make. Everyone has their own, I would say, vibrational palette and you will be able to hear your vibrational palette through the sounds that you prefer to enunciate. For instance, um, if I was angry or if I was someone that was a little bit more maybe gruffy or rough, I might like the g I might like the j, a hard j sound. And I'm just saying this because um, phonics, right? When we're using English minor and I still can't remember basic um, <clears throat> elements of words right now. But when you're using the consonants, when you're sounding out the consonants of the words, there we go, phonics, eh? When you find certain sounds that you like, you will notice that you might come back to them. That's why I'm encouraging you to just, um, to literally just make random noises. I really like um, the way the L kind of rolls. Now there is science behind the, the sounds that you're making and how they're communicating and how your body is perceiving those sounds and what they're actually, how your body is feeling about those sounds. Like if I wanted to go to sleep, I might say more more sounds, right? To kind of lullaby them and if i'm trying to tap into something or um sometimes i like to say energetically do some work if i'm trying to break a wall or something i like to use a and that's good for kind of getting like snags in the past now i learned this all by intuitively just making sounds seeing how it feels and meditating on what um, you know what they symbolized to me and what my guides felt like showing along with um, some of my college education and I am an English minor so I do like to look into the you know the fun play of words now with lay language that is definitely one of the most important things you can do just be open be open to you can't really make mistakes, but be open to making mistakes, you know. Be open to having no expectations. Be open to having an empty mind. I think a really important thing with light language is that when I am channeling, my mind is empty. It is empty. I'm not thinking about anything. I am just being here in the present moment so that I can allow the information, my crown chakra is open and I'm setting the intention. I've already contacted whoever the guides um, that I want to contact to communicate with. And now it started. So this is, I'm just gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna tell you exactly how I do my light language videos, how I do any light language processes. And yeah, I just wanted to say when I started doing light language, I was very young and it was because I was watching um, a Disney movie and I was really sad that they always seem to be in a pickle. They always seem to have trouble because there's always miscommunication. And so when I was young, I came up with this idea if we only had one language, the Disney princesses would never have to go through all of this drama because we'd only have one language and everyone would communicate using their hearts so there would be no miscommunication that was the overall thing if there's no miscommunication there'd be no sadness but you know what i have come that to to see that there's a lot of diversity and a lot of things and the world is an interesting place who knows maybe in a couple years we'll all be speaking light language but that is besides the point or is it i'm making this video so I kind of hope that's where the future is going. Now this is how I see light language. What I'm saying light language, and if you watched yesterday's video where I did a light language session manifesting money, my mom walked in and she was a little freaked out. She didn't really know what she, uh, well, she knows I like, um, I do speak light language, but 
it was kind of freaking her out a little bit. She's still not used to it when I randomly go off in tongues and start um, cleansing and breaking all of these old chains, right? It's just wild. Everything is shaken up. Anyways, my family has accepted that I now randomly speak light language throughout the day. They've they have accepted that and that's very beautiful I think that's a big major shift for all of them they just kind of think it's normal and I really appreciate that um where was I going with this oh yes okay so when I'm talking about light language I think that it's really important to acknowledge that when you speak you are speaking to everything in your immediate vicinity and everything is picking up on your vibration everything is just a reflection of you right um, so when I'm using my voice, I'm tapping into my heart, I'm acknowledging that everything around me is tuned in with me. So with that being said, I understand that I have a lot of guides with me and they can show themselves through perhaps um, a feather or they can show themselves through a flash of light or a synchronistic sound or something of that sort. So. Some of them are saying right now they are with me and they are so happy to see me, you know, talk about this. They want to say that um, when they start contacting people, when they start contacting you, then it's not going to be possibly like immediate it won't be immediately maybe you won't speak it but you'll hear you'll hear something and you'll think is that my thought or is that someone else's thought and i want you to know that that's probably your spirit guides giving you a beautiful thought trying to communicate with you okay and there's nothing to be afraid about that's actually really amazing and you know connect with them they want to show their love to you so yes okay so light language when i am doing my light language videos i always make sure that i am aware of my surroundings i'm aware of all of the guides that i have around me and i'm just emptying my mind i'm breathing out and i'm emptying out any thoughts so this will allow my vessel to be perfect for tuning in to whatever station my guides are at that I'm intending to meet. So let's go to the intention part. After I'm all blank and my mind is all ready to go, I've emptied out any of my thoughts, so I'm ready in that receiving mode. I'm going to wanna make sure that my intentions are set. So if I'm doing this light language for a specific pers person, then I would um, just set the intention that this light language will help them to the best of my abilities that I'll be intuitively guided if you do not have uh, like a, an intention and you just want to do some light language then just set the intention you know that it will serve you to the best of its ability um, or something along that lines just so that you're intuitively guided and that you know you're not blindly wasting your time always make sure that you have an intention and I promise you your light language is going to be 10 times more powerful than if you don't set one. So once you set your intention, so you emptied your mind, you set your intention, now you're going to tap into receiving those messages. You know what you're intending to receive those messages for. As soon as you get that intention, as soon as you get that intention, I'm gonna say, the thoughts are gonna start flowing, especially if your mind is empty and you, you're used to meditating, so you, you're used to sitting with an empty mind or sitting with your thoughts and observing them. This is gonna happen fast as soon as that intention happens. Now you might wanna just start making some some noises from your throat chakra. Ask yourself to be intuitively guided so that the noises you make will run in tune with the intention that you set um, and then from there you're going to just allow yourself to vibe high so allow yourself to relax enjoy the process be present and know that you are contacting galactic entities yes okay and this is a very beautiful thing know that they are not going to harm you and set the intention that this is all for your greatest good okay 
that this is all for your greatest good. If you are watching this video, I want you to know that you are probably ready or on the brinks of, you know, light language or your own form of tongue. And your guides want you to know that and that's honestly why you're here watching this video. So if you are watching this video, if you are curious about doing light language, then I encourage you to go outside, go in nature, and I'm just gonna go over, I think I'll, I'll make it five steps real fast for you guys so that you can remember and comment them down below if you wanna keep notes. Number one is that you wanna make sure that you're in a meditative state. Number two is you wanna make sure that you set your intention. Number three is you wanna tap into that intention. You know you've already set the intention. Tap into it. Warm up your vocal cords. Number four, by just saying, speaking, whatever, whatever you feel like speaking or sounding out. And number five is to remember that your guides are all around you and that what you are saying is going to affect your reality very profoundly and powerfully. So light language really is like a personal conversation with a creator. And I can have it with many people because we are all creators. And so when I speak in light language, I am speaking directly to the creator. Yeah, so with that in context, I want you guys to really respect um, the power that you have, respect who you are, and respect the beautiful vessel that you're in and the powers that you are able to manifest. So love, I am so excited. Please comment down below if you had, you know, you like this video, if you have any questions or if this, you know, gave you an aha moment, um, please comment down below so I know so. And of course, press a thumbs up right now so I know so and can continue to make more videos like this one. And Good Viber, you already know fam that if you have not already hit that subscribe button to officially join the Good Vibes Delivery family, here I am officially telling you to hit that subscribe button right now along with the post bell notification to stay updated when I post, I post daily and I would love to have you part of the family. Now, my guides are saying, I hope you have an amazing day. And enjoy your life.